With a click of a mouse, San Benito CISD's homepage received an updated look that has much more pizzazz and visual appeal thanks to a team of dedicated web designers and technicians in the district's technology department. Besides the yearly calendar and current events receiving regular updates, the district's homepage remained virtually unchanged for the past several years. Director of Technology Dallas Smetter explains the district's former site was built pre-2000. This uh, website redevelopment and changeover to the new platform, new servers, is the first time that a new website or new design has come through at uh, San Benito CISD since the very first website, maybe 13 or 14 years ago. Although the transition seemed relatively easy, the task was anything but. It took approximately one year in order for the project to be completed. San Benito CISD's campuses and departments have been given the task of updating their individual content on a regular basis since the format is user-friendly. Changing to this particular format allows users to publish and post content with each site having an approval process. If a teacher or staff member creates the content, the content must be reviewed by a campus or department administrator before it becomes viewable to the public. The project was a result of teamwork with dedicated technicians Eduardo Farias and Dulce Quiroz taking the lead. Smetter teamed up with Jose Correa and Donald Bowman in overseeing the server setup. Smetter explains the system is open source software. What we've done is installed an open source system, uh, integrated it with our Active Directory, integrated it with our email servers so that any staff member who has an active uh, district email account can actually log into a backend and post their web content, their images, videos, whatever, may create a new web page, those sorts of things. As a result of the changes, individuals logging onto the district's homepage can expect to see enhanced visually appealing web presence. This new format will allow district personnel the ability to post and update content from any internet connection and provide a high level of security and scalability. Already, several campuses have embraced the idea of updating their information on a regular basis, and many campuses have already received training by staff member Benny Villarreal as well as technical support from technology personnel in regards to maintaining their individual sites. Smetter is encouraged to see campuses and departments expressing an interest in learning more about this process. Staff members are available to provide support to each department or campus. For more information, please call 361-6124. We hope you've enjoyed today's School Matters presentation. This is Celia Longoria reporting for KSBG TV 17.